In this Blender 2.8 Beginners Tutorial I will show you how to create a very simple three-dimensional football. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. If you're new to Blender, to remove this panel just hit return on your keyboard. Start by removing this cube, so just press X on your keyboard and then left click on delete. Now come to the very top of the screen and left click on the edit button and then left click on preferences. I've just enlarged this box, you may not have to. In this search bar here, left click and type the word extra. Now what you're looking for is something called add mesh extra objects left click in the box so that you've got a tick showing and then left click save preferences and then close this panel down this preferences panel now hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh you're looking for something called math function and next to this you want to left click on regular solid Open this panel up here at the very bottom left by left clicking on the little arrow. Next to presets, left click on custom. Now the fourth item down on the left hand side should say truncated isohedron. Left click on this. Close this panel down if you want by left clicking on the little arrow. And then roll your middle mouse to zoom in. Now press tab on your keyboard and come up to the top of the screen and left click on the edge select button. This is a box with one line on it. Now at present these lines that sort of pass through, or these edges that pass through these flat um, faces will cause all sorts of problems so what we need to do is select them all. So with this edge select button already selected just left click on one of the edges that pass it through the uh, flat face and then come up to select and what you're looking for is next to select similar you're looking for length left click on this and this will select all of the edges at the same length and in this instance all the edges all the yeah, the edges that go through these larger uh, flat faces. Now if you press X on your keyboard what you want to do is left click dissolve edges. Now, do the same for the other edge on one of the smaller five sided uh, faces and again come up to select and then next to similar left click on length. Press X again and left click dissolve edges. Come up to face select, which is this the button to the right of the edge select, and then press A to select everything. Now I'm actually going to go into rendered mode so I can show you the color changes. So all I'm going to do is just press Z on my keyboard and then left click on rendered. Now if you come to the right of the screen, you've got these buttons here, come to the very bottom one, this will be like a little red world, and this is your materials button, left click on this. Now left click on new, and I'm not going to change any of the um, surfaces and that, I'm going to just change the colour a bit. So next to base colour, left click on the white bar, and place your pointer over the dot in this slider here, hold your left mouse button down and just drag it all the way up. Now select one of the smaller five sided faces by left clicking on it and again go into select and then similar and this time you want area. Come to the right of the screen and left click on the plus sign which will be next to where it says material 001 so left click on the plus sign then left click new 
and this is very important you must left click this assign button here now left click on the white bar again and decide what color you want and if you want a black you can drag this down to black or you can take the bar right up and then place your pointer over the middle dot and then holding down your left left mouse button you can move the color around so I'm going to make this red okay with your pointer back in this screen here press A to select everything then come up to the face button left click on this and then left click extrude individual faces and then move your mouse you don't want it going this way you want to go out so move your mouse to extrude them out a bit and then, then hit your right mouse button now hold down control I and that will invert your selection so it will actually select the ones the faces behind that you've created by extruding your faces and then press X on your keyboard and then left click on faces press A again to select everything and then hold down control followed by T and this will sort of subdivide your faces into fans and then right click and then left click on subdivide now if I'd done that initially without um, dividing the faces into fans this wouldn't have worked come down to the bottom left of the screen left click on the little arrow next to subdivide and then on the left hand pointer next to the number one number of cuts left click until you've got something like six cuts showing here back up to the top of the screen again and then this time left click on mesh then next to transform left click on sphere drag your mouse until your isohedron turns into a sphere then left click to release you can close this down if you want in fact it will disappear in a minute now hit tab on your keyboard then right click and then left click shade smooth finally back over this side look for the button that looks like a wrench this is your uh, modifiers button left click on this now left click on add modifier finally left click on solidify and you should end up with something that looks like this now I'm not going to do any changes or go any further than this this was hopefully just a simple quick tutorial so hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers